A new generation paying for the mistakes of the old. Most of South Africa's one and a half million orphans lost their parents to AIDS, and many more are HIV positive. But health workers say the government could have done much more to prevent the catastrophe. We behaved as though we were the first country on the sub-Saharan continent to be infected, not the last. Because we could have picked up the phone to Uganda, to Botswana. We could have said, help. What have you done that has worked? What have you done that hasn't worked? We need help. We did nothing. We were arrogant. We, we recommended onions, garlic and beetroot and people died. HIV infection rates are finally dropping in the country, but out of the five million people infected, only one million received treatment. The finger of blame is being pointed at former President Tabu Mbeki, who refused to acknowledge the link between HIV and AIDS. There are even calls by some of his political opponents for him to be tried for genocide. There was a Harvard study done which showed that his policies or his lack of policies and his denialism, together with the Minister of Health and a number of other people, we're almost directly responsible for about 300,000 deaths. I don't think he'll ever be tried for genocide um, or anything like that, but I do think that uh, blame does need to be put um, somewhere in his court. New President Jacob Zuma has put the fight against HIV at the forefront of his health policies, and two independent programmes seem to be making progress. Official results of a major trial into the use of microbicides, a gel applied to the vagina before sex, aren't out yet but previous results are promising. While at the only male circumcision clinic in the country, the results are encouraging. Circumcision is probably one of the best strategies that we have available to us. Every person you circumcise already has a 60% less chance of getting infected. So, you know, we think that what, whatever we are reaching at this moment, whatever we are doing is, is contributing. The government has announced there will be a national policy on male circumcision, and it's hoped clinics like this one will be rolled out across the country. New policies which this government say reverse some of the damage done by the previous one.